What's on the agenda today? Explore, Steve. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Today we're in the van cave and we're gonna go inside the Explore camper van and I'm going to show you an improvement that I'm gonna to make to the interior that's gonna help me feel better about it. Oh, and if you don't know about Cosmo Headley, the talking head, I've gotten a few comments from people that may be new to the channel wondering what he's all about. I'll link a video down below to let you guys know where he came from in case you're interested. So give me a second. We'll get inside here and I'll show you what I'm up to. In the back of my Explorer camper van, I have the most comfortable bed ever. It's a king size bed, full king size. It's always in this configuration in the back. It's not something you have to pull out or fold out. And how many camper vans have a huge bed like this? Now I made this bed custom, at least the foam part, by taking some really dense foam, two inches thick on the bottom, covered by a three inch memory foam topper. And it's worked out good. The only problem is, is when I make this bed, I have to crawl back there and tuck in this bedspread that's underneath the sleeping bag, along all the corners and the edges. And because I'm on top of it when I'm trying to make it, it just never looks good. So. I'm going to take this sleeping bag and roll it up and uh, push it somewhere else and you can kind of see what the bed looks like without that sleeping bag on. It's kind of frumply and it's it, it never really looks good. So I'm going to take this off along with the top layer of foam and bring it in the house. I'm going to make a fitted slip cover out of this with an industrial walking foot sewing machine that I got some time ago. Hopefully we can fix this up and make it look just a bit better. Here it is with that bed spread off and here's the memory foam that I got for it. Now I made this custom for the purpose and you can see how I did that in a past video. I'll put a link down below. It's called RV Bed Revisited and I show you how to also cut foam with a carving knife in that video. So in case you're interested, I show you how to do it. So let me get to work, pull this out. I'll see you in the house. All right, I've got the top foam all rolled up kind of like a burrito. It's gonna help me shimmy it out of here, out the narrow side door and into my house. Not only is Las Vegas a tourist destination, but we have a lot of trade shows. And it was at one such trade show that I picked this up because sometimes if it's the last show on their schedule, they like to sell all their stuff so they don't have to bring it back and ship it. And it saves them money to let it go for a reduced price. So I got this, it's called the Thompson Mini Walker. They're also uh, sold by Sailrite, a company that uh, teaches people how to make their own sailing boat sails and it's uh, pretty heavy duty and I uh, have upholstered a couch with it before as well as some weight equipment so I'm familiar with its use but I did have to consult the owner's manual to remind myself all the intricacies of its operation so I set it up and got to work. I first took some measurements of the foam and of the bedspread and I used some marking chalk uh, Taylor's chalk, I guess they call it, which I got from Walmart. And I began the process of laying out the pattern on the bedspreads. It tested my high school geometry, cutting out the corners to where I could make the miters meet at the appropriate angle. Threading in a needle is easy if you have these. Magnavisor, get one. After I threaded the needle, I practice on a few pieces of scrap just so that I can kind of get the hang of how it worked and in short order I was sewing along those layout lines that I had made and I just went from one corner to the next until I had the job done. I also sewed these little loops on and I'll show you what those are for a little bit later. The foot control makes it easy. 
although it can run away from you if you're not careful. All in all, the process of sewing with this machine is a little bit therapeutic. The hardest part of the whole thing was the layout, but after that, I had it done in short order. Alright, well I've completed my kind of mattress slip cover. Put on these little loops here because I'm going to take some paracord you know, to hold it taut. Give me a moment to put the foam cushions in here. All right, so here's my new slip cover, all filled with foam. As you can see, I just mitered the corners, kind of like you would do if you know you were making a picture frame or something. So I made it come up five inches because that's how thick the whole thing is, and it wraps around. So now I'm going to take these little loops that I put in. And I'm going to put that paracord on. Now that the paracord's on, I'm going to flip it over and see what it looks like. Alright, well here it is all done. I'm happy with it. You know, this uh, bedspread is kind of nice and tailored to the foam mattress. Uh, it looks good. Can you guys believe that a camper van has a bed this big in the back? This is actually a full-size king bed. I made it out of two types of foam, a really dense foam on the bottom, followed by three inches of memory foam because I wanted it to kind of mimic my Tempur-Pedic that I sleep on at home and it does a good job of doing that. If you want to see the video of how I came and customized this bed in the back, I'll put a link down below. Alright, take it easy people.